Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my hot chocolate bar, decorate with me, along with a delicious hot chocolate cookie recipe. And I wanted to let you know that it also is in collaboration with a bunch of my friends here on YouTube. I will have a full playlist linked down below for you guys. We're sharing videos today that make staying home for the holidays a little extra special this year, considering that Christmas may look different for a lot of us. One of the things I love doing for my kids is creating a little hot cocoa station where they can come and have fun. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I share lots of homemaking motivation, lifestyle, home decor, DIYs. I love sharing everything, just creating a beautiful home. And I would love to have you join our community here on YouTube. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I truly hope that this video gives you some ideas or inspiration when it comes to your Christmas decorating this year. Let's get started. Getting started here in my kitchen. This is our coffee bar area. And like I said, I'm going to be transforming it into a whimsical, fun hot cocoa station for my kiddos. I'm just getting started by wiping everything down and then I'm gonna add some fake snow that I picked up at Michael's. And now I'm just gonna add this sign that I created and I just made a printable. I actually have one for you. I just left out my family name and I have it linked down below. And now I'm going in and adding a garland and I made this garland. This was so simple. I just used these Christmas pom-poms, some yarn, and then a yarn needle. And I just strung the pom-poms onto the yarn. So simple. And I found using a cutting board to kind of pierce the yarn needle through the pom-pom made it much easier because it was quite tough. But once I got the hang of it, I was able to create this garland for less than $2. And I actually was even able to make a second one that I put on my fireplace. And here is how that top shelf is looking. And this garland turned out so cute. Now I'm going in and just gonna give everything else a wipe down as we continue to decorate. And if you're looking for more Christmas decorating ideas and inspiration, I have a playlist linked down below. I've been having so much fun decorating and sharing it with you. I hope you are enjoying it too. Let me know down below, do you guys have a hot cocoa station at your house? I know my kids every year are looking forward to it and this year I did make it a little extra special. So I'm excited to show you the end result of how it turned out, but I'm just taking this opportunity to give my coffee maker a really good clean. And then I'm in a position kind of where I want all of the toppings. I obviously wanted it to be on the level where my kids could reach it, but I do go back and decorate those other shelves and I'm just so excited with how it ended up looking. I'm using this wood crate to add some height and also levels to my little hot cocoa bar. And then I'm gonna go in and add some fake snow and a DIY sign, which I'm so excited to share with you. All I did was take this sign I found at Dollar Tree and I took off this pop-up part. I knew when I saw this sign, the wood frame, that I would be able to use it somewhere. I gave it two coats of black acrylic paint and then I added a printable, which I also have linked down below for you guys. I just created a simple little menu and I glued it to the top portion of the sign because I'm going to go in and add little jars to the bottom little shelf area. 
Now I'm just going and filling up all of the containers with the different toppings. I found this adorable snowman at a thrift store, so I'm just filling him with marshmallows. These after eight chocolate straws were so cute and nothing screams Christmas to me like after eights. Like those were always on the Christmas dessert table. Let me know down below, do you guys have after eights where you live? I feel like it might be a Canadian thing, but I hope you guys do because they are delicious. I found these adorable little canisters at a thrift store and I thought they were perfect and that's why I glued the printable a little bit higher up because they sat perfectly on the little shelf. And how cute are these vintage Santa looking chocolates? I found them at the Dollar Tree and also this is a DIY I shared in my last video which I'll have linked down below where I decorated the rest of my kitchen for Christmas. I just thought that it went perfect with the nostalgic classic Christmas vibe that I'm going with this year. This is also a tea towel that I found at Dollar Tree and I just thought that it added a cute little texture to this area. And now I'm just going in and adding some bottle brush trees, just decorating the little areas around the goodies to make it look extra festive. And now I'm just going back and decorating these shelves and I struggled a little bit here figuring out what I wanted on that middle shelf, but I end up finding the perfect thing. Stay tuned to the end so you can see how these turned out. I'm also going in and adding some twinkle lights just to make it extra whimsical. I decided to add a gingerbread house to this middle shelf. I loved the way that it looked, the tones, the whimsical feel, and I'm also ready for when my family and I do our gingerbread house night, which is another tradition that we love to do for Christmas. Here is a final look of my Christmas hot chocolate bar. I absolutely love it and what I love even more is how much joy it brought to my kids faces when they saw it. They noticed all of the little pieces and it just brings me so much joy to have these memories with my kiddos for Christmas. And now I want to share the most delicious hot chocolate cookie recipe with you guys. This is a perfect addition to your Christmas cookie collection. I know I am adding it to mine this year. I will have the recipe written out down below, but honestly, this is so simple and delicious. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. Christmas baking is another tradition I love sharing with my kids and I'm going to be doing a video here on my channel where I share some of my favorite recipes with you so stay tuned for that video. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? 
Once you have your batter all mixed, you're just going to add two tablespoons of batter rolled up on a lined baking sheet. And then I baked these for nine to 10 minutes. Just make sure they're golden brown on the bottom and nice and gooey on the top. Let them cool completely and they are absolutely delicious. My husband was like, this tastes exactly like a hot chocolate. So good. If you wanted it to be more pepperminty, you could add some peppermint extract to it or even more candy canes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it brought you all of the Christmas feels. I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye everyone. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hey, by the